Shalom guys, I hope that you are enjoying your day. I'm just jumping in here just to do a general reading because I'm bored. And so uh, anyway, here I am, here you are again. And so those of you who are part of this channel, I love you guys. Thank you for your comments. They have been just over the top, just uh, just been an encouragement beyond this realm. And I just, I just can't thank you enough. Thank you for being a part of this channel and being a part of my soul group and sharing things with me and just, uh, just, um, your love and light and just your thoughts that they mean a lot. And I send it right back to you. And I mean that uh, I just pray for everyone that is connected. And those of you who are in the upright in, in the earth, I, I appreciate you for being that way. And so do other people. And so, and I'm, I'm, I'm a great big fan of that for you. If that's the way you are in the earth, thank you. May, may the great Elohim of the universe bless you because he surely will. So anyway, kudos to you all. Thank you for returning as often as you do. If you are new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. And I look at a lot of criminal activity. You will hear information that is very intense on this channel at times. So just buckle up as I always say anything goes and we look at it we transmute it we turn it around we get uh, get it out we look in the mirror if it's if it's hitting you in some certain type of way and uh, you got to do with that energy whatever you got to do with it but if you don't um deal with it appropriately uh, there's cause and effect to that kind of stuff spiritually emotionally mentally physically all kind of stuff and people call it karmic activity it's cause and effect it, it is it's reaping and sowing and all the rest and so whatever you and i do uh if it's not done in an upright way even if you gotta roar at something we're supposed to roar at wicked energy uh it, it, however you've got to deal with something to to get clear uh, in the space of where your conscience is, however that may be, you and I have an opportunity to fix something in our moment uh, when something does come to the surface. So I look at all kinds of energy, but I, I specifically target wicked energy on this channel. I love Yehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. I'm not churchy or religious. He can talk to us any way he wants, but the scriptures found in the tarot. I keep all 10 of those commandments on my heart and I love him with everything in me and I confess him and the Hamashiach, Yeshua, that walked among us in the flesh. And Yehovah is Yeshua, which is salvation. So this is just who I am. You'll just learn me as we go. I might be a lot different type of a reader than what you've come across, but um, this channel is for life and not for death. And it's for blessing and not for cursing. All right. So anyway, if you stay great, if you don't, thanks for checking me out. I guess you got to go away. Uh, happy birthday, happy anniversary and all of that. Let's get started. Okay. So first and foremost, those of you who understand about my table situation, then I don't have to explain it. But if those of you who are new, I got a table situation going on. So if it's hard for you to view, it's just more important that you just listen to the message. Okay, I'm gonna use a smaller card deck for this reading just because the camera that I am recording on, the frame is a lot smaller. And so it is what it is. So you'll hold up. I just invite your presence in here. Come in and uh, prophesy whatever it is that you need to by way of Yeshua, the great Hamashiach. I just thank you for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And uh, I appreciate you with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my soul. And um, rebuke, bind, and block every wicked, foul, dark energy and shove it down to the pit hole where it belongs. Show me the right now moment for any given person that's clicked upon this video. What is the right now in the moment? energy the higher fent is here there can be marital situations going on for some people it's going to be society or hospitals morals and ethics are here and uh, I'd say yeah that is correct because we had lies upon lies and secrets upon secrets and, uh, and that other real big deep energy uh, actually both of the readings that I did today the one on the live and then the the one that I uploaded it took forever just in a regular way of uploading a video it was huge energy so some some type of um marital situation going down for some people or something within your morals and ethics or something spiritual is here mentors teachers hospitals are here with the hierophant um organization 
that's business there with the hierophant. This is the letter hey in the Hebrew. The letter hey is the pictograph of the little guy with his hands up. Go, whoa, getting a real big download about something here. And sighing, is, it's a big <gasps> type of energy. Take my breath away because I'm beholding something more. I got some type of, oh my gosh, moment with the letter hey. So the letter H could be prevalent. It doesn't have to be, but it is out here. Okay. We have, yes, death does want to show itself. Something very transformative. Uh, there's a bunch of people here. Um, this is a sea of people. And uh, this is the whole stick of something here with the uh, second house and the eighth house. So we have Taurus and Scorpio here. Fixed energy, but something's changing. Something Again, secrets with the eighth house. Secret sex, money, property. And this is marital situation. Somebody got a lover. I did a reading yesterday and somebody was a cheater around some ordeal. Whatever this is, that's FBI energy as well. So, the, uh, so we do have loyalty situations with the night of pentacles has a meaning of that and then the king of pentacles so business was coming out earlier today as well a secret secret money on property and things like that as well somebody being loyal or not okay something's just totally transformed this is an ending to something something just just completely over here uh, with the death card when it comes out, man. So, death and resurrection. Something was secret, boom, not anymore. Something's coming right on up for some, some something to be known, especially with a bunch of people here within some situation that's went down. Let me see. We got twice dead energy out here as well. If we're talking spiritual stuff and what the scripture says about that kind of stupidness that's that's the occult that's child sacrificing that's just sacrificing in itself uh people and just death issues are out here this is the head the man the boss of something so we do have we had you know work issues coming out today in a really big way if you're new and wonder where i'm getting that this is the letter resh and it represents that the head of something the boss of something this is specific man is involved in something or being at the top of your game or just being at the top of something it's just the beginning of something here and something's being blown up within this energy okay we got a player here at the bottom of the day we know we do because somebody was trying to seduce somebody okay that other night is a lover card and it's been secretive and transformative and there's death around the stupid thing okay what's this um let's just show me the judgment again this is a return i'm returning we had the energy coming out. I'm returning. Okay. It's, it's attached to death and secrets and your morals and ethics. What's the judgment card here for you, Hoda? Yeah, the Ten of Swords also showed itself today. Backstabbing stuff, ruin is what it says here. Okay, well, the Ten of Cups, something's going to be very much emotional. Uh, but if something's over and something's being judged within something, then, you know, it could be, it could make somebody happy that finally something's over. Because if somebody's been going through something so transformative here in a very intense way, as, as emotional that it is, a 10 is still an ending. The death is an ending. We got higher canna at play here, okay, within some ordeal that's went down. Very backstabbing stuff here with the Ten of Swords, man. Okay, somebody's boss is ruined or something like that. Remember we had, so we have a favorable testimony about something. We do have messages, we do. Um, remember we had um, FBI come out this week. I was going to say something else until they left me because I got a glimpse of that. There's some type of message here that's being blown up within some ordeal it was showing there's a final verdict somewhere and there's been, there's strife here around some stuff show me this uh king of pentacles and this knight of pentacles that ain't even a match man that and, and, uh, obviously somebody's partner or, oh i remember what i was going to say we had word come out the boss knows something Okay, well, if the boss knows something is in the upright, then great. Otherwise, if the boss knows something has been keeping a secret and it's disgusting energy, backstabbing stupidness, and the boss knows and they're just keeping a secret because they don't want to be ruined because it says ruin here. Too bad. Okay, you don't protect wickedness. Okay, you did the dirty, you're gonna, you, it, it, the dirty's gonna be known about because Jehovah says whatever's in the secret's gonna come out to the light. We're getting it right here. Let his word come true. Okay, if somebody's seen something, knows something, given some type of a favorable testimony, then then it's here. There's been something very mischievous around some ordeal. We got children here involved or teenagers or something like that, but that's a favorable testimony card to get something ended. Show me this King of Pentacles, Jehovah. 
Obviously, somebody's morals and ethics are just, my God, backstabbings. Yes. So, again, if we have an eyewitness, this is the pictograph of the eye. The eye is the pictograph of the eye in the Hebrew. Then there's a jolt here, man. There's something. And, and if we're talking about sexual things, it's also a sexual card. But it's storming on somebody, man, real hard. And this is just like, oh, my God. A, a pair, this is, you talk about knowing something. It's real big out here. Just like that. This is Jehovah doing it. This pride and ego and conceit. Now nah, I'll do whatever I want and build my tower the way I want. But nobody who, who's ever sat down to build, build the tower without considering it first is what Christ said. There's a paradigm shift here within some. So there's the eight of pentacles. It does want to be shown today. It's every one of my readings today. It's come out. Something about work is here. Okay. We also have the six of cups also showed itself. This is a return. Some type of a returning for what secret sex. Boom. There's death attached to it somehow, some way. Again, a return. Also seeing the uh, temperance card here today as well. This is actually all coming out on the king of pentacles. Uh, something's known here. Something's just like, oh my God, somebody's going to be standing in their rubble. Then I guess so. Uh, I guess Th this is a pictograph of, of the sperm. We have the genitals here in a very big way. Has somebody seen something, knows something, and saying something? Then I guess that's what's showing here. Somebody's marriage is here as well. Somebody been real bitter. There's a disappointment in what is also being known about something as well with the Five of Cups. That's Five of Cups. I'm, I can't get over it. I'm crying over spilt milk. I'm sitting here, and I'm just going to cry and cry and cry, cry, cry. And we do know that to be the case, given all the energy that's coming out. Otherwise, some people, after something's over, if somebody can get up, take those cups, and there will be apology to fix something. And then there, there'll be a paradigm shift with this favorable testimony and something positive will be out of it. I guess it's, you know, for any given person, this is a deliverance in the in the Hebrew. This is an heirs to kingdom. Somebody just really felt stretched out within some ordeal. Then that's what's that's what's here um, because it's just so intense with death energy when it comes out. Let's see what's hidden that is coming to the surface. We got... Your parents, your children, a blast from the past, but somebody's known out here or something is known or fixing to be very much known about something that's been very secretive. Uh, we did have upright law enforcement that was coming out within some stuff. And so those of you who are, thank you for your service. I would really like to experience it in my own situation. Anyway, what's secret that's coming to the surface even further about this stuff you hold up? Okay, well, there's a lot. I feel like that one's supposed to be taken. Uh, the bouquet also showed itself today. We have flower stuff coming out. We added in wording that I spoke about in the original reading that I did not upload because the camera was just crap, man, on that uh, reading. But... Um, on the live, we had two cards that came out that had flowers in it. And like I said, th there was something about smelling the flowers and wording was there. Um, gifts and abundance. And this is this can be peace as well. Somebody trying to bring some type of peace. Or somebody's had a paradigm shift because now what is known went down in a very bad way where death issues or sexual things have happened. And so be it otherwise, you know, somebody giving flowers to some some somebody that's a little lover there ain't no matches out here man we have uh, a king a knight and a page and something to do around some type of uh loyalty situations and marital things are here as well um and it's it's at work something at work is here because the boss is here in wording and the king of pentacles represents that so something and then the eight of pentacles is work so something about flowers or the bouquet gifts that have been given it's going to be known about if this fbi and somebody is in love and they somebody said i'd fight for you then something is here as, as well we've got something being spoken about the owls is a conversation card it's also something gossipy especially something's going to be just like oh my god known there's a bunch of people then that would be out here they're, they're going to be gossip about something i guess or there was and that's why something just went oh my god um ballistic within the tower being out here uh, somebody just coupling up and let's go take a little short trip somewhere or maybe travel for your job or something like that. Okay, so we've got the owls coming out here that's coming to the surface as well within this reading. Let me take one more. What else you want to bring out here, Jehovah? And then I'm going to take some words. Okay. The tower. Well, the tower's here. That's a huge, oh my gosh, moment. 
with it being out here twice, there's the lady as well. So whoever the lady is, the lady is is a, is a very significant person involved in something. So that can go back to a younger person. We got a younger person here as well. Could represent a mother. Okay, could represent a wife. It could represent somebody special. Again, if somebody's getting up and fighting for somebody, we do know that there's a connection. Somebody's a freak around the stupidness. They're like Sybil. They got 15 billion different uh, personalities. Somebody got emotional problems, and they're just like, there's just something here. They're, they've been very secretive around some ordeal we also have somebody smelling she's smelling a flower as well um it's interesting this is government when the, when it comes out in this deck this is some type of alterations that need to happen now because especially if it boom something's here within something coming down because somebody does see so it's time for something it is time for something it's for some for communication and you know if this is peace then it's time for peace otherwise like clockwork with these stupids they just come back around until it until every day let you over just take them out man you have a what else you want to bring out here about this reading you always said vengeance was mine today he is taking care of some people that have done some nasty even right out of your own home people you hope you just pick please through my hands Okay, let's see what he wants to say within this reading. We have, let, let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of Jehovah all the day long. Well, somebody was in fear within something, then I guess something with that is here. Um, somebody says, uh, Jehovah says, call them today. Okay, something about what's come to the surface is some type of protection is here. This card represents protection to communicate. Okay, and if it's in the upright, and something's over now that's been stupid and very intensive and backstabbing, then you're always saying to call somebody today. Again, we had third parties. Don't care about the third party. There is two people that's supposed to be together. And somebody at your work has been doing something around you and you are loyal, okay, then, then something out here would be with somebody who would be mature as a king, whatever that is. There's something about a dedication or somebody's been dedicated. Honor, truth, and clarity, okay? And something complex has been here that takes back to the hangman, and it was shown today. A liar has been involved, and, um, you know, we know that because lies were on lies. Secrets were on secrets. Like, you know, somebody's communication was, was fishy within some stupidness. But somebody here has given some type of a favorable testimony that's been backstabbing. The Ten of Swords represents the truth because it breaks down to the ace and something's being blown up. There's been, there's judgment here. So listen to your gut, okay? If somebody is calling you today and you're on a side of somebody that's always been kind of cray-cray within something, then you really need to listen to your gut, okay? Because you have to just keep saying it anyway for the next couple of days. A senior citizenship is here. And uh, some type of a death is, is is here. Well, it's here. It's really showing up today. Okay. Or something's been around an older person's death. And something's happened within that whole process of something. Then, then something very much would be known about that thing as well. And there's a judgment. Especially if there's an eyewitness and somebody's giving an account around it. Okay. So, somebody will confess today. Well, thank you, Yehovah. Because we do have some type of communications. But thank you, Yehovah. Let them confess today. It's just pressure them because this is like I'm so stretched out with the with the temperance card in the in the Hebrew one of the meanings. But it is a deliverance card. It is salvation for somebody. Some type of travel would be here, okay, with this uh, card. So we have two travel cards as well. Again, some type of big explosive thing with two towers out here, man, and two death type energies coming out here actually three because that's eternity as well one of the meanings something about water would be here the river would be here as well Yoba says that they have hatred in their heart and somebody has been w unwilling to forgive something well we know it because somebody's a freaking liar if somebody has to finally go and confess something today and somebody's had to really use their gut because somebody's a freaking murderer and they're just cray cray then it, of course that's going to come out here um, your children. Okay, well, somebody's children, I guess, have hatred in their heart for their parents. That's very dangerous, and you will not live long on the earth. And some people got unforgiveness because maybe you grew up with a really bad parent as well and held on to something as well. You still got to, you still got to process that stuff, man. It'll kill you in the end, okay? You need to just really go to Yehovah uh, to learn how to release. And don't get me wrong, I know it's easier said than done. So um, there's just a process, and somebody... 
wouldn't go through a process to heal something, then something's here. Um, but something about your children are here involved in some situation. Um, we have something to do with, if somebody lives on a farm by God, they live on a freaking farm. It just comes out all the freaking time, man. Uh, there's positive unity and love out here for something, especially if somebody's going to confess something and if they're going to, you know, if they're going to make something right within something that's going to transform everything, then then great. Because we do know that there's a connection. So the motto out here is I have. And somebody has created something and it's known. It's so known that somebody has something. It's known that somebody has created something. It's known that somebody has not had their balance as well. Because this is balancing. I'm trying to get my balance here. All right, well, what's underneath this card? The clouds. That Well, that goes back to somebody who's been very distorted. They've been the, confu the, the confusion card. We have the complex card that came out, which would take you back to the... Um, to the hangman and it, it is here somebody got emotional situations going on because somebody's done something out here and there's a bunch of death man somebody wasn't loyal around stupidness there's been secrets and everything else and so anyway in the clouds or maybe something happened when it rained and uh we do know that to be the case for something because the rain would be here as well one of the meanings of the death card So the secrets are going to come out today. This came out twice yesterday when I was doing some readings. It's the CH, the Q, and the X. So we got secrets here. We got secrets here. Still can find it here even though it's being blown up. Secrets are going to be known about, man. Because too much tower out here. Too much of a trumpet being blown within something. Somebody's confessing some ordeal out here. Somebody's also been in magic. Well, we got the occult out here, man. We do. And you've already stated this week somebody's under judgment for sacrificing children. Uh, it's disgust, man. But uh, anyway, we've got... Um, Secrets and magic and a mystery. Again, FBI would be out here around that mystery or somebody's just been very secretive and caused some type of a mysterious thing to go on within the stupidness on your job. Like I said, somebody works for somebody. They ain't who you say that they think that you think that they are because we had the imposter come out there. Okay. There's been a lot of silence here for a long duration of time is what this represents. Uh, but something's being, something's over. We've seen a destruction. We're seeing a jolt here. Okay. We're, we're seeing something just transform and end. And we're seeing the trumpet being blown on something and somebody's confessing something uh, because somebody just had hatred in their heart. And you, you're going to sit there with hatred in your heart. Then you all of a sudden, well, you're just dead weight to me in the earth. What you do in the earth is nothing for me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, extinguish you. Because that's 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 ridiculous, okay? You want to be crazy and be distorted all the time. And uh, cause, you know, all this blurred, mysterious stupidness. Or trying to put spells on people. I'm going to take you out. And somebody's going to be taken out in a very big way. Um, it's, it's, it's scary to me because, you know, we got... Scripture that talks about how the the eye, when it's lit up and you're whole on the inside, then you're just full of light. But somebody who does not have any true light in their eye, then how deep and dark is the soul? And somebody's 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 eye being put out here by some st stupidness because they, they they won't forgive. Uh, they're they're just um, they went crazy within some situation, whatever that has been. Um, so anyway, if we don't honor truth and clarity, people, it just gets us every time. So let let not your heart envy sinners, but be in the fear of Jehovah all the day long. Outside of that, people, it's um it's destruction. Until next time, guys. Shalom.